大家好，欢迎欢迎来 Extreme Pools t a n g s a i Edition。Hi, my name is t a n g s a i I'm at Eden Glasgow. To witness me ordering a wee munch, let's go inside and have some. Stevie, describe to us what you've just ordered. So I've ordered the lamb and chicken. Yes. I've also went to the donut, uh, the bat and chips. Uh huh. And I've went to the chicken wings as well. Now as you already know, it's a very healthy traditional Scottish meal. A healthy meal. traditional Scottish meal. But I'm cutting down, so I need to take it easy. So I've decided to just go for three meals. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Right, so I've ordered the chicken wings. Uh huh. Chicken wings. Yeah. 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 A humble Scottish delicacy. It is. It's just a. Are you mesmerised? A bar, I think. They should be winning an Oscar. Can't take your eyes off it. Look at that succulent piece. Dripping right off it. Kept you waiting, huh? How are you feeling? I'm about to have the time of my life. When you say you had a meltdown, Stevie, do you mean you couldn't sleep? You went on the booze? That's exactly what is happening, brother. Good evening. I'm Stevie at Extreme Poles, but for one night only, I'm going to be Ding's Eye. Now, my persona here is that, as you've all known, at Extreme Poles, I am the greediest man in Scotland. A disgusting glutton is what I am. I have been tasked to finish everything in front of me. Now, what you're seeing here is traditional Scottish food from Istanbul up in Paisley Road West. I will describe what I'm going to be eating um, <clears throat> and you'll just have to be on this wonderful journey of selfish gluttony with me. I do have to say, we took a while setting everything up, especially the booze behind us. So I have actually smashed half of this right and I've had two chicken wings as well. Now, you shouldn't be surprised because that's the sort of person I am. So, Sean isn't a, give, give me any money to do this, to perform like this. And Mark isn't even going to be here for support. He's away out tonight. So it shows how little they think of me. But the two of them did get together with the financial team at Extreme Poles. They've coughed up some money with that biscuit tin. The mentality. Is that right? Uh, yeah, I'm not going to kind of tell me anything sweet. about this one. So they've coughed up the money to honour Tangzai. So let's uh, crack home with us, I guess. In the so, words of Lake Palmer. <laughs> let's get down to it, baby. <laughs> now, the, the donor, I have to say, the donor was like really, was full. While you were setting it up, I was so greedy and had to eat it. I mean, no apologies for it. I am the king of donor. I have smashed much more greasier donor than this. This is proper donor meat from the traditional Scottish Turkish place, Istanbul. So let's smash it. Uh, wow. That was too easy to eat. Is it good, eh? Uh, was it that good? Stevie, when would this traditional dish usually be eaten? This would usually be eaten in the nether realms of time. And, and in the midnight and the, the wee hours, which I granny would call it. And does alcohol take any part in bevy. this? Bevy. But all this bevy here would massively take place. This, is, this would be a big influence on the humble dollar. <clears throat> now I'm going to say, I'm going to keep this sauce and I'm going to use it for later on. But to answer Sean's question, the humble dollar would usually be between, I would say, 12 and 3 a.m. on a week, on a week night, um, sorry, on a weekend night. Well, look, that is me. I have finished the, the dollar. I'm going to move on to the chicken wings now. Um, I said I was going to talk about this sauce later, but my plan for this is to, like, soak up these chicken wings with a sauce, right? And... I think they are quite meaty, they're quite flavoured, and it looks like it's very flavoury. So I'm going to give this a go, right, watch. But... Yeah, so... So simple. This is actually a doddle, by the way. So our nip is so easy. I know. I've got Another have, one. You're going to have to... <laughs> <laughs> Just to tease the audience with what's coming up here. <laughs> You're going to do, in honour of Pang's I believe you're going to do a tornado. It will be. Look, as you can see, the chicken wings are done. Okay, but the salad doesn't count because Stevie's obviously unhealthy. <clears throat> salad is obviously for we guys. This is going to be a phenomenally tough eat. This is essentially like going to the new camp, trying to get a couple of away goals. This is a humble, it's, it's, it's a Turkish pizza, sorry, Scottish Turkish pizza called Lamajun. 
Um, Don't want to get political here, but yeah, there's, there's Armenians some, have got a claim to it. Yes, there's some like overtones to that. This might not look like anything, and you're thinking, oh, that's only seven, eight, six, seven inches, really, is it? Six, seven inches? No, what? it's not. What? 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 This is really crammed with a lot of meats in it. It's crammed with chicken, uh, loads of mince, loads of sauce. Um, so this is going to be tough. Is there any subs that can come on from me if I'm struggling all the time? This lamb is going to be a struggle. I don't know if I'm going to be revitalised by this. Tesco's version of Red Bull. Stevie, I, I think you need to take a sip of that. I think it'll give you energy. I think it'll. I think that might be the sub that you were asking for. I'll be flowing through my veins. I think Hulkamania is in that can. Special <clears> ingredient. <throat> Let's just see. Have you just brought Mikey Johnson on? Half time whistle. Let's see here. We need a good team talk here. What's up, mate? What's happening? I don't know. I feel as if I'm not asking enough questions. I'm not aggressive enough for this. Stevie, take a sip of your Mikey Johnson right now and let that lamb as you know it's in a game. Come on. Okay. Okay. You're not going. I'm just going right aggressive for this. Is it, I mean, is it that bad? The taste of it's not as good anymore. I feel. I honestly feel as if it's just me. So it's John Cena said that. <clears throat> Hustle all out of respect. I feel as if that's what I've got. But he also said never give up. What would Pangzai do? Pangzai would probably take me nibbles of this while he joins. Copious amount of alcohol, and he'd be making me look like an absolute amateur. But that's exactly what I mean. This is amateur, though. But it's not even amateur YouTube, it's junior YouTube! I think he needs to come in here, I think. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see new tactics. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see different formations! <laughs> we'll see that amateur getting eaten. Ah! I honestly think a lot of people would struggle with us. I do. Do you know what? Well, I tell you what it is. It's because it's the doiness of it. And it's very baggy, bubble baggy. But it's. it's <laughs> <laughs> you done then? Aye, right, Steve, you done. Five, I am. Four, three, two, one. So, we're now on to our second part of this challenge in our wonderful cultural video here. Now, I might have failed with the food challenge. However, one thing that I do know what I'm doing is smashing a baby. Now, I have been challenged by Sean at Extreme Poles to do a tornado on this enchanting bottle of Edison Gun Bob and Barrel Scotch Ale. Did you get enough of that in there? I think we did, I So, the tornado, what is that I hear you ask? Well, what Pangzai does, it's his finishing move, fatality if you will, where he creates a tornado-like effect with a bottle of beer and manages to down it in like three or four seconds. It's spectacular. He actually opens it right with chop. Have you seen it, Sean? When he opens it with chopsticks? Ah, he opens up with a bottle of beer with chopsticks. What did I tell you I used to do when I was a wee guy? Apart from Martin Aiden McGee do it again twice. You used to do it in cushion all the time. Yeah, easy. Doddle. I mean, he's probably got that for me for honest, but... That's it, ain't it? That bottom, I don't know if he's used different chopsticks, but I used to do this all the time, honestly. Right, this is the way I did it as a wee guy, Sean, but look, it's, it's stuck there, so look, it's, it's kind of working, you know? It's I, stuck. And then you... Oh. Believe me, I told you, I mean, there's video footage. If you really want, Cushion, we'll get CCTV. Where is it, video footage? Is it on Bebo? Eh, uh, Jim Farris got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, here we go then. Nah. Traditional way. Uh... <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> fucking don't know that. Now I'm going to tornado, that's <laughs> innocent gun, and come on, easy. <sighs> oh, 
In fairness to you, mate, that was... Smashed it? All right, I mean, it was... It's still for me. Ah, well, let it's me see. It's for me, though. But the, the most it's so Let's see it. Do, are we going to give him that? I don't... Hmm. Come on. Come on. Oh, VAR. <laughs> I don't know about that. Come on, VAR here. That is... Hold on, hold on. A, hold on. We're going to the review. We're going to the review. What's the decision? Come, come on. Decision. Tomato. Yes! <laughs> yeah, I, the chopstick bit was a bit mental, but the actual I was obviously a chopstick. He, he's using cheated chopsticks, trust me. So now we move on to the most important part of this video. One of extreme polls will go away a winner. Everybody says that the Scottish Cup is the most important and historic. Some even say that the Mushroom Cup and Mario Cup is the one that they always want to win. They never talk about the Kinder Cup. But that is exactly what my ears are going to win tonight. Now, the chocolate inside, it's just an afterthought. It's a treasure. That inside there that everybody wants to win. Everybody, of course, be me and Sean. Now, what's going to happen is there's four shots of tequila here, as you can see. Now these four shots of tequila are going to be consumed by both of us and whoever can down it in the quickest time will win this cup. But the winner goes away with everything and all the glory. Loser, nothing but shame. I thought you were going to bottle this. I could bottle the live show and bottle John McAfee, so I'd as well bottle this. Indeed. Right, three, two, one. Favourite has won. Oh, How does Pangley do this sort of thing? That's four pathetic V-shots a day. The big man could probably do a pint Look at of that. that. Look at the state of me. Okay, so a very important part. Obviously, good game. Indeed. I'm right. done so, unlucky. Yeah, thanks. Um, nice lap in the back. I need to open this Fable trophy and Stevens. So you going to eat it in the front of me? No, I'm going to eat it. The goody brother that Matt Derton and be sick. This is what it was all about. Move the lemons out of the way. Move the lemons out of the way. It's all about this. You know, just open it, like. No. Stevie. That was very aggressive. I think it's a couple. It's a couple. It's a I've always wanted one of these. A wee beautiful. Baby. How ironic couple. How ironic, considering right now he's a shell of a man. Stevie. Pleasure. Indeed. Pleasure. Thoroughly eaten. Pang's eye. I hope you enjoyed seeing that pathetic. Pathetic level of booze drink. Look at that, you didn't even drink the full one. You knew the game was up. Yeah, well, it was good. Listen, YouTube, thank you for watching. And remember, smash that button and subscribe to us. Stevie, cheers.